and I am here today and we are going to discuss a very interesting topic because there are some things now that uh, you just have to make sure that you know. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Charlene Randall. I am a real estate agent and credit repair specialist uh, licensed in Connecticut and I'm now live on Instagram and also Facebook. So if you are watching me, please comment, let me know what you think and uh, let me know what you want to know. And, you know, just give me some feedback and share this video with others so that others can receive the information. Because here on Let's Talk Money, basically what we do is we discuss finances and this could be uh, finances due to uh, education, uh, relocation, home. Uh, there's so many reasons why we can talk money. So we talk family, we talk education, we talk moving, we talk housing markets, we talk relationship, we talk divorce, we talk marriage. So um, I'm trying some new things here so that, um, you know, we basically will, you know, you'll get to be able to get all of the money information that you need. I know a lot of the times I'm discussing with you, I'm talking about credit repair and I'm talking about the housing market and I'm going to keep talking about credit repair, the housing market and all of those things. But there are some other things that we will be discussing uh, on Let's Talk Money. So basically, you know, it, it's just so much information that we need to know, especially in this time. So today we are talking about the recession that we are on the brink of. So if you've been listening to the news, if you've been paying attention to your money and other situations, uh, then you know that we may be on the brink of recession. There are threats of a recession coming soon due to some of the processes and things that have happened over time uh, in, in recent times. So we all had to deal with the pandemic, right? We had to deal with the pandemic and the pandemic changed our lives for good. The pandemic changed everything that we know uh, that was before the pandemic. I mean, I don't think anything is the same after the pandemic. What do you think? I don't think anything uh, that we dealt with before the pandemic is the same, not uh, healthcare, not education, not finances. There are so many things that have changed. You know, your family household in your house, things may be different, you know. So uh, just trying to figure out what is going on. And this is affecting everybody, not just you, not just you, not just you, not just me, but it's affecting everybody, right? So we have to understand what exactly is going on. So if you are watching me on Instagram, I want to say hello to everyone on Instagram. If you are watching me on Facebook, I want to say hello to everyone on Facebook. If you have a topic that you want me to discuss or something that you want to um, basically share, then um, you can let me know. And I also, before I get into the topic for today, really, I also want to let you know that I will be bringing a special guest out. So there will be special guests that come out and discuss different things with us. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. We had a special guest yesterday discussing her book. We actually have a, a special guest tomorrow discussing another book titled, I Met a Guy and other things that you tell your sister girlfriend. So that should be interesting. Uh, that is author at V Joyful. So she will be here tomorrow. Okay. Discussing with me her book. So the recession, we are on the brink of recession. So what exactly is the recession? When you keep hearing the word recession, 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 what is a recession? So basically what a recession is, is lower economic growth, lower economic growth uh, in development. So 
we've seen since the pandemic, businesses and companies shut down, larger companies that have actually lowered, uh, you know, downsized and inflation has happened. So with inflation, people are going to be able to afford less. Gas prices have went up and we've seen uh, gas prices double since the pandemic has started. So the pandemic uh, basically has, has done a lot. I'm not sure if every cause is because of the pandemic, but uh, since the pandemic, things have happened and we've noticed the inflation. We've noticed the gas prices uh, that has risen. And so that is not the only thing that has risen. You could even go to the supermarket and I was just in the supermarket doing some shopping and some of the things that I buy normally like potatoes, uh, the potatoes, the price of potatoes has risen. I would have never thought that I would see potatoes rising to what they are now because I have never considered potatoes to be, you know, an expensive food. But if you go into the supermarket, the potatoes have risen. The price of potatoes has definitely went up. So potatoes, chicken, chicken has also went up. Uh, fish, everything has went up. Fish, uh, dairy, milk has went up. Basically everything that you purchase in the supermarket has went up. The prices went up for that. So you could see how the economic growth in certain ways has, you know, been affecting, you know, everyone else and that it will be, uh, you know, a little bit lower the uh, economic growth because people can't spend as much or get as much as they used to with the same income, with the same amount of money. So and you and these things happen you used to uh go to the store when you were a child we've seen inflation before you go to the store and you purchase a bag of potato chips and those same potato chips that were 25 cents or 50 cents you know years ago now the same exact bag of potato chips are a dollar so you went from buying it for 50 cent to one dollar and so that is inflation but what has happened now is that the inflation has risen faster and the inflation is at a uh, 40 uh, percent and it's the highest that it has been in 40 years so inflation right now is a very big deal inflation is a very big deal so you know and if you want to talk about it follow me here on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, and I'm going to continue to discuss and talk about all of these money topics that you might want to hear and you need to hear because you need to understand what is going on with your money. Let's talk money. I want to make it so that you want to talk about your money and you want to be feel comfortable about talking about your money. You, you want to feel comfortable because a lot of people talk about money and they get nervous and they get scared and they get worried. And a lot of people do, you know, you may stay up at night thinking about bills and you may try to figure out what's going on and, and what can you do, but you also want to get comfortable about talking about your money because it's important. Okay. So inflation, we're talking about inflation and then there's this new word that I've seen, which is called shrinkflation. So have you heard of shrinkflation? Everyone, have you heard of shrinkflation? Shrinkflation is basically when you get a particular item and the same item that you are getting, you are receiving less inside of the packet. So you may get tissue. There may be less sheets of tissue, less rolls of tissue. 
you may get uh, potato chips. It's less potato chips and more air in the bag. You may get it's certain things that you can't even tell that they actually are giving you less within that particular package. So it's sort of like you don't even realize the shrinkflation is happening. So uh, some people have heard of shrinkflation. If you have not heard of shrinkflation, you could look when you are purchasing items, make sure you try to see where your money is going and how much you are spending. Is your toilet tissue uh, saying less? Is it, um, well, it's not going to ever tell you that it's less. Like that wouldn't be, you know, good for the company to tell you that it's less, but you will have to pay more attention to the things that you are buying in order to even understand and see that it is less but that is the word for that when that happens uh is shrinkflation so that means that you are getting less and still paying the same amount or even more you may even be paying more so how about that you may even be paying more for that same size of that package for for less actually in the package it looks the same size but it's not so that is what is going on they are saying that we may be on the brink of recession so we may be going into a recession soon so what i want to what i want to talk about is credit before we, um, you know, before we move further, I want to talk about credit because I want to let you know what you need to do, you know, if we're going into a recession. Okay. I want to let you know what you need to do if we do go into a recession. And, you know, what to do with your credit and why that is going to be important. So, basically, if you listen to me, you know that I always tell you that credit is a foundation. Credit is a foundation. So, um, how you are using your credit is very important. Credit is a foundation. So, you have to look at you know, everything, all your finances, but your credit should always be, um, you know, accommodated. You should always be checking your credit to see what is going on. You should always know what your score is. You should always understand that your credit can, you know, assist you with uh, lenders and being able to afford certain things and being able to get qualified and approved for certain things, right? So your credit is going to be something that is there for you when things do get bad. So if we do go into a recession, you will still need to make sure that your credit is intact. Some people, you know, don't look at credit as a foundation. They look at credit as extra money. You cannot look at credit as extra money, especially coming up in a period where this is a recession that would, if this becomes a recession, as they are saying, we are threatened with a recession and we are on the brink of recession. You cannot think of it as um, not having that extra financial foundation to fall back on. You can't think of this as extra money that you're just going to max out. Now I have my credit cards, I'm gonna max them out. I'm gonna use it as extra money. You can't do that. You have to be smart about how you are actually using those credit cards. So let's talk about that. So your credit is a foundation. You have to know that when we hit this recession, if it does happen and they officially um, make this a recession, then you have to know what you have to do before, like right now, things that you have to start doing. So the first thing you want to do, because what people usually do is, you know, they become worried, 
you know, this is what they become worried when, you know, they're experiencing a financial issue. And that's why I said, I want you to be comfortable about talking about money and the things that happen with your money and how you can actually be able to fix things or get things um, operating a certain way so that you can be better when this recession hits or not be worse off when the recession hits due to careless credit practices. So, you know, you may become worried like any other normal person. Uh, as I said, maybe staying up at night thinking about what you need to do. But what you can do is be proactive. So you want to start to pay off debt. You want to start to pay off debt because not only do you not want to max out your credit cards if something was to happen and you have an emergency. Let's say, for instance, for example, you have a credit card right now that has a $10,000 limit and you uh, usually have about 8000 which I would not recommend use on that credit card because that's just way too much. That is over the 30% utilization that is over the 30 percent utilization so eight thousand out of ten thousand is way too much because you are only supposed to use 30 percent or less and i recommend using only 20 percent but let's say you had an emergency and you used it and you use eight uh eight thousand but then when the recession hits there are some other emergencies that may happen you know in the midst of this you know this financial hardship and, and this time of, of, you know, things just getting uh, a little bit different with your finances. Because what will happen is if there's a recession, then there's going to be businesses and companies like with the inflation that are going to raise prices. So that um, $2,500 uh, that you spend at the mechanic is now 3000 or that uh, 2000 is now 2500 that you're spending at the mechanic. And let's say if it's that same credit card where you have 8000 and you need to spend that 2500 now instead of the 2000 then what's going to happen is that you are going to go over the limit on a credit card that you have. So whether you have two credit cards, five credit cards, or 10 credit cards, you need to start right now to pay off that debt. You need to start to pay off that debt because that will lower your utilization. And also when you lower your utilization, what happens is that you look better to the lenders. And lenders are also dealing with their own type of things uh, in situations when a recession hits because the lenders don't want to lend to certain people and they're going to be more, it's going to be more riskier for them to lend. And so they're going to be looking at that. So they're going to be looking at the people with the good credit scores and they are going to lend to them. But the individuals who have these maxed out credit cards, if you have one maxed out credit card and you still have others, that still is not going to be favorable because they are going to want to know why is this card maxed out? Why are you not paying this card down? So the lenders also have their own way of dealing with things in a recession, but you want to be looked at favorable by the lenders no matter what. So you want to be looked at by the lenders favorable no matter what. You want to make sure that whatever happens you can, you know, get approved or qualify for what you need in a difficult time. So you want to pay down that debt. You want to lower your utilization. You want to be aware of everything that's going on with your credit in a situation such as a recession. So don't get discouraged. Get proactive and start working on your debt because everybody has some kind of debt. If you have credit cards, most likely you have debt. You have loans, you have debt. Everybody has some kind of debt. And 
if you pay your debt down, then you will lower your utilization, which will make you be able to qualify and get approved for that home loan, qualify and get approved for that car loan, qualify and get approved for that personal loan, qualify for that credit card that uh, you wanted to receive. So that's what you are going to need to do. And as I said, I want you to feel comfortable um, and I want you to understand that you don't have to feel worried about you know what's going on at this time when there are certain things that you can do everybody will feel a little bit on edge but if you start to be proactive and work towards some of those things then you'll be better off so with that debt what you want to do is you want to make a list make a list of all the debt that you have make a list of all the debt all the credit cards that you have and you want to slowly pay them off or pay them off as quickly as you can. You want to start with the higher interest credit cards first. So you want to pay down debts with high interest first because that will save you more money on interest fees and uh, so on and so forth. That will save you money just paying off the high interest so you don't have to pay uh, because when you have all of that debt and you have not been paying uh, the balance in full, you've been only paying the minimum balance. So now you have all of this debt that is basically accumulating interest because you have not paid down the debt um, as you should each and every month or if you could have each and every month. So being that the credit card companies will tell you you can pay a minimum balance or the minimum balance due, but I'm going to tell you, like I said, I want you to feel comfortable and I want you to start to get to know this information in and out. So you can pay more than the minimum payment on your credit cards. So you need to pay more or you need to pay your balance in full, whatever is best for you. If you can only pay, um, you know, a little bit more than the minimum balance, you can do that. If you can pay the balance in full, just don't keep making purchases if you are not paying the balance in full. So don't keep making purchases on uh, these credit cards until you pay more because that's how you accumulate more interest. That's how you accumulate more debt. And then the cycle continues. The cycle goes on and on and on and on. And so that is not what you want to do. You want to make sure that you are trying to pay off your debt uh, as much as possible so you can keep your credit score good so you can keep your credit score favorable so you can be qualifiable for these loans that you may want so this is what is happening this recession is may happen may be official it may not but these are some of the things that we need to know and you know I want you to be comfortable, as I said, when you come here and you're discussing with me on Let's Talk Money. As I said, I'm a real estate agent, licensed in Connecticut, credit repair specialist. I can do, uh, we do credit nationwide. So if you need your credit repair, you can always contact me. But these are the things that you need to know. These are definitely the things that you want to start to be proactive on paying off your debt, which lowers your utilization, and also understanding what inflation is doing to your money. How is inflation affecting you? How much more, you know, do you have to buy? How much more do you have to spend in order to buy the same products? Have you been seeing the shrinkflation? These are things that you need to pay attention to because this recession is going to um, you know, be a big deal. And I don't think that, you know, people really want to go into a recession, but because there is lower economic uh, growth and higher uncertainty with consumers, that is what the definition is. So that is what we're experiencing. So tomorrow I am going to be live on Instagram and Facebook with my guest 
as I said, she's an author. She will be here uh, tomorrow, Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern. We will be discussing her book, I Met a Guy. And I can't wait until uh hear more about this book. So make sure you join me tomorrow. Make sure you're following me, everyone, on Instagram at Charlene underscore Randall, or Facebook, Charlene Randall, basically anywhere Charlene Randall, my real estate uh page is at Charlene Randall Real Estate. And I will see you guys uh tomorrow with our guests and I hope you guys really understand how important this is. And this I is uh, definitely uh, tomorrow with going our to be, guests. you know, some information and that is valuable. I hope you guys really understand. So I'll see you tomorrow. How important this is. And this I is will see uh, definitely you guys, uh, tomorrow with going our to be, guests. you know, some information that is valuable. I hope you guys really understand. So I'll see you tomorrow how important this is and this I is uh, definitely uh tomorrow we're going to be yes you know some information that is valuable i hope you guys really understand so I'll see you tomorrow how important this is and this I is uh, definitely uh tomorrow we're going to be yes you know some information that is valuable i hope you guys really understand.